You might have heard us talking about the Track Champions League recently, a brand new exciting format of track racing. Well, I'm here at the Palma Velodrome in Mallorca where the first round will be taking place. It's the day before the racing starts and I've come down to see what goes on behind the scenes at this big event and give you guys six reasons why I think you should watch the Track Champions League. If you are a bit of a tech data nerd, then you're going to love watching the Track Champions League. It is the most interactive track race we have seen to date. There's going to be an app you can download on your phone where you can see all the rider stats. There's going to be live data, so you can see their heart rate, the power numbers, the cadence and the speed they're racing at, all from the comfort of your very own home. And let me tell you, some of the power numbers those sprinters put out is jaw dropping. So these are the trackers that the riders will have underneath their seat. These will collect all the live data like the position in the race, the speed, the cadence and the power. Riders will also have a little camera attached to the back as well so we can get all the action inside the race. Mallorca is going to be a test event for the app so you won't be able to download it just yet but it will be up and running and for you to use for the second round in Lithuania. Another really cool thing about the Track Champions League is the lighting and the graphics on the track. So when the riders are racing, it'll come up with all the names and what race it is. And sometimes track racing can be a little bit confusing, lots of different riders, and it's hard to know who's in the lead. But with all these lights and graphics, they're going to be able to identify what rider is in the lead in the race. And this behind me is where it all happens. It looks very complicated and very techy. And there's a screen right there that says do not touch, and I really want to touch it. This new track race is pretty exclusive, the very best track riders in the business. To race this event, you either have to get top five at the World Championships or be invited. Fun fact for you, there's actually 63 World Championships titles between all the riders, 29 Olympic medalists and 10 Olympic champions. Another reason to tune in is all the fancy bikes and equipment. Now, these are some of the very best riders in the world, so you can expect them to have some pretty fancy bikes and equipment. I mean, check these out. I mean, it's not only about the bikes. I mean, check these shoes out. How fancy are these? These are probably the most aerodynamic shoes you will find. They're fully carbon. I mean, they don't look the comfiest. They are very stiff, no flex at all, but you know, all the gains for the riders, all about performance. Track cycling is one of the best sports to watch as a spectator. There's no standing around on the side of the road for hours and hours to see just 20 seconds of the race. If you're lucky enough to come and watch a track race, then you'll be sat right here with a perfect view of the velodrome and you won't miss any of the action. Even if you do watch it at home, it will still be incredible. With this new format of track racing, the action is going to be full on with attacks left, right and centre. Also, if you watch the racing and it inspires you to try and track cycling, then it is super accessible. So all you need to do is find your local velodrome. They'll have track bikes there that you can hire, helmet and shoes. That's so all you need to do is turn up and be ready for a great time. If you are able to come and watch in person, then it'll be even better. The atmosphere inside here is going to be insane. Also, if it is your first time at a velodrome, you're going to be blown away by the steepness of these bankings and how fast the riders power around them. In the past, track cycling has been a little bit confusing to follow. So many different events, heats, qualifiers, finals, semi-finals, the lot. Well, the Track Champions League has condensed all the very bits, bits of cycling and kept it simple. There's going to be eight events in total. There's going to be two events for both male and female sprinters and two events for both male and female endurance riders. The endurance events are going to be the elimination race and the scratch race. The elimination race is basically the last rider across the finish line every other lap is eliminated and out the race. The scratch race is the first person across the line at the finish is the winner. 
The sprint events are the Kirin and the Sprint. The Kirin is where the riders follow a motorbike around the track that brings them up to speed. The motorbike swings off and then the riders are left to fight it out for the finish. And then the sprint event is where riders go up head to head in pairs in a bit of a cat and mouse race and it's a bit of an elimination process. All the racing is going to be done in a two hour session, so keeping it short and exciting. Equality is a big topic in cycling and it's great to see that the Track Champions League is setting the way in terms of prize money. Both male and female riders get exactly the same prize money and the prize money at this race is pretty big, let me tell you. There's actually over 500,000 euros up for grabs, so expect the riders to put on a good show. There's also exactly the same amount of male riders as there are female, so 36 male and 36 female, which is great to see, and they race over exactly the same distances. There you have it, those are my reasons why I think you should consider watching the Track Champions League. We're going to show all the action tonight at 6pm GMT over on GCN+. Make sure to tune in and hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, give it a big thumbs up.